Tigers are very endangered and there's a few reasons for that. The first one mainly is habitat loss. Um, as people move into where the tigers live, they take away their habitats. Tigers are naturally solitary animals, so they need a lot of territory to be able to survive. And when we're taking that away, that can cause some conflicts between tigers and people. Also, tigers are just magnificent animals and they're still being poached for some of their parts and also being sold into the pet trade. So those are all some more issues that are affecting tigers in their natural environment. Bush Gardens works with the Seabold and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund and they support projects that are happening right there in the tigers natural environment to help protect them. And some of the things they're doing, they're supporting um, tracking tigers and how to secure their habitat so they still have places to live. They're also supporting projects where they're just trying to educate the people that live around the tigers that they are an important animal and important to their environment and also they're trying to help educate people and try to control the poaching that's going on so we don't want um, tigers as pets. They don't make good pets. They are a wild animal and we respect them here at Bush Gardens so we do have protected contact. We want to make sure that we're very safe so we work with our animals through a protective barrier and this way they can be their natural wild selves. Well the best thing people can do to help tigers is just educate themselves about the place that tigers are facing in their natural environment. They can also go to bushgardens.com and learn more information about tigers and if they go there they can find a link to the SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund website where they can find a project that if they like they can help support. So just by learning more about tigers and sharing that information is going to help them. Besides our many wonderful shows, restaurants, and rides we have here at the park, we also have an amazing group of animals that we work with as well. Um, that's right here behind me. There are some of our western lowland gorillas, and they happen to be my favorite here at the park. Our group consists of six individuals, males and females, ranging in ages from 6 to 44 years old. And as you can imagine, with a big silverback and two young juveniles, there's always something going on out here for visitors to see. Whether it's the animals playing, exploring their habitat, looking for treats that us keepers have hidden for them, or being right up close at the glass to where we can do training sessions with them for everybody to see. So there's always something going on. There's never a dull moment. It's because I've gotten to know these wonderful gorillas behind me that gorilla conservation is a subject that's so near and dear to my heart. Gorillas are now an endangered species. They are found in the forests of Central Africa. And the primary reason for their decline has been human encroachment. Uh, the biggest threat to them is habitat loss. As you can imagine, as the human population grows, they're needing more land, more food, more timber, so they encroach upon the natural habitat of the gorillas. So while that means that the human population is expanding, the area for the gorillas is shrinking, and therefore the population of gorillas is shrinking as well. Um, so one of the things that that expanding population has done is made it a lot easier for poachers to be able to find and kill gorillas for the bushmeat trade or to take their infants for the pet trade. Another reason that the natural habitat of the gorillas is shrinking is because of mining. And that's where us U.S. consumers come in. There's actually a mineral called coltan that is mined for the production of cell phones and other electronic devices. And so that's the biggest message that I can tell to you today is to recycle all of your cell phones, all of your electronic devices. Because just in the U.S. alone, there are 260 million cell phones. That's 85% of our population has a cell phone. And only about 10% of those are actually recycled every year. So again, that's the biggest thing that you can do to help them is to recycle those phones because if you do then that obviously cuts down on the demand for coal tan so it obviously cuts down on the mining and the habitat shrinkage but it also helps us as well because it puts less waste into our landfills and less of a possibility for toxic chemicals to leach into our ground. One of the things that I'm most proud of working here at Bush Gardens is their dedication to helping gorillas in the wild. Uh, through their partnership 
with the SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund. They help support projects all over the world that help many different animals. They help work with the local people to teach them how valuable their animals are, how valuable the land is, and also to help them sustainably manage their natural resources. So I encourage you, check out bushgardens.com. It'll give you all kinds of information about our parks, our animals, and the Conservation Fund.